Welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, we discovered some stuff about Cade that's still pissing me off right now in the back of my mind. And uh, we got on a school bus and came here, and now we're going to explore it. This is like the lower end of town, I'm assuming. And I don't want to go that way. Ah, oh, no, but the shop's open by the looks of it. It looks like it's enterable. Just like Kate was last night. Ah, oh, God, why did I make that joke? Fucking. That's twice I've made a dumb joke. I made a Samuel joke that was offensive to mentally slow people and I've just made a joke that involves a word. God, what is wrong with me today? I think it's because I'm tired. I do apologise for the last two jokes. I wouldn't I wouldn't argue with you if you shouted at me in the comments. There we go. I don't know that whale needed a photo. There we go. Stop shaking the fucking Polaroid, you fucking bitch. God. Right, the next one's a bone. Let's keep out for a dog. Ooh. There we go. After being forced to listen to Victoria and Kate rag on Katie about the video, I headed back to my room. I didn't really have any time to chill out. I had to get dressed and find Kate's book in my own mess. Rushing all the while to not be late for Chloe. As if things weren't here weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Uh, why are you questioning if it's Nathan? It's prob it is Nathan. Victoria, no clue. Maybe it's from David Madsen. He might be working with Nathan. Maybe that's what he's going to say. I just thought something. Why he's, he's got like a really bad phobia for security. Why was if the Prescott family's after him or something? For whatever, and they're using him. As a way to get to Max and Chloe. Anyway, no clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wouldn't, she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed, like some emo goth den. And Kate is in the opposite, is the opposite of emo or goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take a picture of her framed in her expression. Especially, whoa! You're supposed to be Kate's friend. I like Kate, but your first thought when this was happening was, "Can I take a picture of this sadness?" What the fuck. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from to the party, from the party to the ER, and she thinks he did something to her. But she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate, considering what a kind, what kind of person she is, and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she could, she should go to the police and the principal. I felt like absolute shit, but I told Kate she couldn't go to anybody because no one's gonna believe you, and even if they did believe you, they won't do anything. Anyway, until she had more proof that she was drugged, that video doesn't help her cure uh, her case at all, and this could all backfire big time she's going up against the whole Prescott Empire which is what I keep saying not just one rich white boy on dope she wasn't too thrilled by my answer so I had a dog throw in my gob I don't know if, uh, still in my gob one second there it goes got it I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all this how could I blame her I sometimes wonder what I'm actually doing besides getting myself in more trouble Kate even booed me out of her room Hello everyday hero. I mean we did instantly use our powers for evil. I would like to point that out. <laughs> I ran into Warren or whatever. Warren was waiting waiting to run into me. Naturally he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again I felt like a dick because I should have gotten ahead of Warren a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after what just left him in a l after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. But we're not on friend zone him to be buff guff. He's staying friend zoned, that's the rule. I only told him a little about what's going on, on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. Basically, we're going to hide everything about Nathan. Every time someone asks about Nathan or whatever, it's just straight up nope, we don't know anything. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my abilities of fucking reverse time and space. But ironically, while well, time and space are kind of hand in hand, you can reverse time and space at the same time. Because the time's part of space and space is part of time. Forget it. But ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. 
lol. Besides, he would want me to. He would want to marry me immediately. I mean, he kind of does anyway, just so he could have his own human time machine or capture me for spe for scientific experiments or make me go to drive through with him. Oh wait, he did try and get me to go to drive through with him, and I refused. I'm not really in the mood this week, and I also don't want to lead him on. Yep, I don't want to lead him on either. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack ride to Two Well Diner in. I'm guessing a stupidly expensive headphones because the way they cut out that fucking bus engine was amazing. Talk about going back in time, I haven't seen the diner in five years but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than were than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate old ships and a big ocean. Yep. There's a message from Chloe. S somebody better. Oh wait. Running late, grab a Booth at the diner, mum will feed you. Somebody better, I'll be lucky if you make it. I thought, wait, but hold on, no, 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 no. Max, you should be paying for this. You've just got loads of money in your bank account from your dad and a gift card from your mum. Well, we know for a fact Chloe's got no money. Anyways, I want to explore first. Hello, sir. What's this? Look at all these flyers. Save a bit, yeah. It's so sad that nobody will read them. I can get behind that. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Yep. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has it changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Is he gonna make all the fishy puns? He did good. He did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Wankers. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I've decided I'm going to do Cluedo style. I'm going to kill the dad with the lead pipe in the library. I'm going to set fire to Nathan with the candle in the uh, kitchen. And Victoria's still getting the truck though. Because I'm just fucking evil like that. Oh look, it's the RV Obviously again. Obviously nobody took my advice. Yeah, clean your fucking RV. Look at... I mean, this is essentially your house now. So clean it. There's that dirty RV from the other day. How have you seen out the windows properly for a start? Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. A bone! I could take a bit. Where's the bone? Is there a bone around here? Please There's be a bone. There's something creepy about that guy and his dog. I need to talk to him. Is there a bin around here with a fucking bone in? Oh, fuck off, dog. I want to give you a bone. Don't take that out of context, people in chat. I guess I have to get the bone for my dinner or something. What's in here? Nothing. I keep getting stuck on scenery, they need to fix the hitboxes. Let's have a look at the newspaper. I wonder if they explained that snow. Let's have a read of the newspaper. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. Weather service battle baffled by snow. In a rare ad admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay. Oregon this week. Uh, I've got an explanation. It's called, it's called Max Weather. Max weather newspapers are going to be retro soon oh, I think newspapers are always going to be a thing Sorry? I kind of enjoy reading the newspapers from town? time to time the world is on fire and our big headline is snow I can hardly wait for next week's big story clouds but we're a little Arcadia town bay and the snow was odd the snow was pretty odd it was right in the middle of a warm sunny day oh <sighs> Global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. 
I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Can I talk to him again? Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. Wait. Did he just say? Did he just say? I mean, I don't care about global warming myself. I mean, people can show to me in comments for that. But he still said it was bullshit. A scientific theory. But then he read his horoscopes. Okie dokie. But uh, I forgot what I was going to say. S either the snow is because a... Uh, oh, it's Warren's car. Warren's here. It's... Uh, the snow is either because the storm's coming. Or... Oh, hello. Uh, let's go. Poor because woman. the storm's coming off from her powers. Shelter for her. It might just be because the well. storm's coming it's fucking Aww, with the weather. Look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Oh, tell us. Tell us about the Prescott family, bitch. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. This is why I've not been grassing out Nathan, because I, what can I, I can't do nothing. I forgot who Joyce Price is. You must know Joyce Price. Oh yeah, it's the, the mum of uh, Chloe. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's I'll just in trouble? I'll get that message, the Married text note from Chloe. Her mum works in the diner, I get it now. Uh, David Madsen. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. So the problem with her being home, I'm pretty sure it is in the UK. I'm pretty sure it is in America as well. You need a uh, a living address to actually get a job. You can't just get a job. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. I mean, you are looking a bit leathery. What changes? What Ow. changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of Oh, she's going to be like too. Samuel 2.0, isn't she? Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. She's, she's a witch! I might be homeless. <gasps> That's the plot twist. The bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Yeah, homeless people. I'm I'm not cheering for, I'm not cheering. Cut, forget it. <sighs> That's three times I've got myself in the trouble now, in the space of two videos. What the fuck is wrong with me today? I've just been wording shit wrong. It's not my words are not coming out how I mean them, and it makes me sound like like an evil person. Oh, there's a picture for the doggy. He's a cookie. He's nice. He's a nicer cookie. This is a candy. So we haven't missed one so far. That's good. I'm trying not to miss any this time. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I've been making sure I've been paying extra attention to that photo tab and looking around. Can I sneak through your back door? Nope. Gonna walk this way and get some. I don't uh, want to go that way. Come on, why tease me with scenery if I can't do it? I mean, that petrol station looks juicy. I mean, look at that truck. That's the one that's I gonna splat. To go that that's the one that's gonna splat Victoria by the end of this series. Mark my word, she's getting splatted. Yeah. Let's tr Man, wait. Where's Chloe? Smell at? Of breakfast. Where's Chloe? The sound at? of clanging silverware. Yeah, Chloe's not there. Chloe's not there. Makes me feel thirteen again. They're not there, right? It's good. Now that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Yeah. 
So I'm not having a good explore good this Lord. time instead of the Talk first episode. Because when I was watching back the first episode, I realised I didn't actually explore that much, which is why I missed pictures. Apart from that mistake that made me miss pictures, but you know what I mean. I think I miss a lot of stuff. Who's this guy? These fishermen are so damn quiet. Yeah, Did but they spend all day on a boat, today? so they don't have any sort of to do. you mean none? Then sure, I caught a lot of big ones today. Oh, can't now be let tits. me mourn over my eggs. I'm sorry, I was only asking. A weird. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Stop judging people, you little bitch. How do you know she's weird? Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Okay, you was right to judge her as a weird g woman girl thing. She's a weird woman girl thing. Let's go. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Uh, it's gum though. I don't think gum really ages, does it? Well, not eight, you know what I mean. This guy has serious. I'm colors. tired. I keep saying weird things. Forget it. Why does that so not sound fun? There's just a boat on the water in it. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Sasquatch field trip. It's Harambe. <laughs> He's come back from the dead. <laughs> I'm guessing I've got to go into the back to him. I mean, that's a great reference to a great film. I'll let you put in the comments what film that is, but... Still, they're insulting Kate Marsh, which means it's got to come off. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yeah. Ooh, t-shirt. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Yeah. Just wear it in your room. I mean, no one's going to see. You wear it as a civvy. You never know how weird this like, town okay, is yeah. postcards. I like to call them your raggedy clothes. The ones that you just sit in your room all day in. Uh, Justin. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. He's a skater dude. You be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. Yeah. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm. No, it's my Max. Get it fucking so right. Don't laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. Yep. See you later, Max. She's probably, w uh, I'm gonna be honest, she probably wouldn't have gone for you anyway. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. I mean, Trevor's clearly way more hip than you. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me at the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, he came into Dana's room as well. Probably. I had to tell Justin because, well, he was in her too. How did Justin? He was in her too. Bloody hell! How many could you fit? Blazed. He was cool. Uh, blazed. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. People are talking about you again. In class, Max. Uh, oh, is that how I progress it by sitting there? That's funny. Our God, my phone keeps going. I'm sorry about this, guys. I know it sends over the. Uh, I know it sends over the microphone. I can't help it. Uh, I'm not going to use a jukebox. It might trigger something. Whoa! Can Kizzy with Joyce? That's so perfect. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Yeah, well, that's a big one there. I mean, it, it might sound a bit sad, but I do like a bit of. Uh, do like a bit of fishing. I know it sounds weird, don't judge. But you don't go f to f for catching oh, a fishy dude to just uh, chill out. Everything. The fishy's just a bonus. Still the Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. By romantic, do you mean picking up hookers for like a fiver? Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. What a wanker. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. Oh, what a toss up. How does Joyce sound? That's a very Bossy flattering uh, camera angle on the waitress. Like there. you. Joyce rules, fuck you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. 
I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Mm, bacon. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. I am going to steal your truck and use it to run over Victoria. That way you both lose. Now I'm going to rewind time to make you make it look like it was you. I don't feel like talking right now. I got to deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. That's very over funny. Now. That's very funny. Keep it up. Speak Hello, to the copper. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Uh, Just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. Yeah. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. I bet you like some of Joyce's pumpkin pie. Uh, what do you think of David Madsen? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for Dave. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, dick. we're happy. Doesn't Dave matter if he exactly served in the fucking military in, in a war zone. He's <laughs> still a fucking prick regardless. Uh, what do you know about Joyce? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. I bet you do. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. So Got awkward you know quick, Chloe? that did. Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Oh, am I being grassed as a pot dealer? That's no big thing. Is that really a big thing? At least she was chilling in her room. How do you know she was chilling in her room? Oh shit, I've just grasped myself you up. You just said so. She might have been getting high or getting her spray cans ready or whatever. I'd like to think the best of her, but she's now in the Arcadia Bay Police database. Is she a friend of yours? I, I'm just gonna come straight over it. I know her. I don't know. Like you to. know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Yep. Sounds like you're a good friend. Yep. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I have to go. But she's got a lot of troubles Enjoy that people breakfast. outside By the, the way, friendship don't understand. One thing understand, I can tell you so. for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parts. I've already vehicles. been there. I got nearly attacked by a dog. policy? The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I should donut, you're a policeman. It's a dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just okay. let me suffer quietly. I'll let you suffer, you wanker. Ah, oh, It's still funny, even though it's a salt and cake. Flush before her. <laughs> that graffiti has been here forever. It's funny, though. I aim to misbehave. Lol. Rachel Amber owes me a BJ. So does your mum. Lol, top Gross. quality bants. Oh shit. <gasps> yeah, a photo, yay. Which one's that one? I'm going to punch you. I can't because you're a virtual character, but if I could, I would have punched you by now for shaking the Polaroid. So I'm assuming we're halfway through this episode now. That's good. Thank you, redneck poet. Arcadia Bay sucks deck. Mm. It's a nice word in there. Right, let's sit at this. Uh... In fact, no. It's 24 minutes into this. Oh, hold on. So a gander. Let's have a look. K Bay 7. <laughs> Coming up at noon, K Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to K Bay 7 News for the real story. Uh, I was just going to leave. Fuck it.
Yeah, anyway, I was going to say, before I go into the stall and talk to Chloe, I'm going to end the episode. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button. And if you want to see more Life is Strange, which you don't have a choice in, I'm going to keep saying that at the end of every episode just to piss you off. Bye-bye. Subscribe. That's what I forgot to say then. Subscribe. Episode here. Are you fucking fit? I'm going to murder you. I'm going to murder you. After I murdered Victoria. But as I say, I'm going to end this video here, and the next video will be in this place.